Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we have a what I eat in a day. I did a what I eat in a week, I think like last month, and that has just a ton of meal ideas in there. If you guys are looking for inspiration, um, you can check that out after this. That was the first time I ever did a style of video like that. So um, we're still getting used to it, but I do really like doing these. So if you guys like them too, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, and if you're new to my channel, I am gluten-free. I've been gluten intolerant for five plus years. Well, who knows how long I was gluten intolerant. I've been gluten free for five years. So, so everything you see in this video will be just that gluten free. I feel like I'm probably going to say that a lot in this video. I filmed this yesterday. So I had a family dinner. It was Thursday. I do that every week. I cook dinner for my family. So you guys will get to see like our little family dinner, which is fun. And yeah, so you guys will have to let me know what you think. I hope you enjoy. Let's go ahead and get into the video. And I was way too tired to talk this morning. So I am doing a voiceover, but of course, most important part of the day, coffee. I'm drinking my Tiemann's dark roast coffee i'll link it below for you guys just adding some almond milk and my favorite almond creamer this is the coffee mate natural bliss vanilla almond creamer it's so so good and then i love cinnamon so i add it to my coffee every single day this is ceylon cinnamon which is supposedly better for you i don't really exactly understand why but it's the best cinnamon i guess it's what i read <laughs> so i'm adding that and then some ice and we are ready for the day so it's about 9 30 now i'm in the process of getting ready i feel like i'm looking a little bit tired still still have my morning voice which i need to wake up but i'm a little hungry so i'm gonna go make some breakfast and i know i mentioned that um, i sometimes do intermittent fasting here and there in my last one of these videos um, but i have not been doing that recently i've been really into breakfast i've been having the same thing every day for like the past two weeks um so that's just kind of the current routine that i'm on let's head downstairs and i want to show you guys what i've been um loving it's nothing crazy but i love it okay so i've been really really into a fruit smoothie in the morning this one doesn't have any protein but you guys can definitely add that i just don't want it to be too heavy because i'm also going to have um, something else on the side so in here i have a few literally just two pieces of frozen pineapple because that's all i had left it's probably what i would normally do anyways um some frozen spinach just to keep it from wilting in the fridge i freeze it sometimes and then probably less than half of a frozen banana you can't see it in there but it's already in there so like maybe like this much of a frozen banana and then i'm gonna do a little bit of this mix this is a mango berry mix i get this at sprouts and then i do the spirulina powder this doesn't have any taste i just add it for the benefits i have it every single day and then i'm gonna do some unsweetened whoops this is out of focus some unsweetened coconut shreds which adds a really nice flavor to this if you guys like coconut some organic flax seeds these are ground so it mixes perfectly into the smoothie doesn't get like you know you don't get like a bunch of seeds in there and then i'll do like a splash of almond milk and then a little bit of water just to do less almond milk i don't know just that's the mix that i found that i like so i'm gonna add that but then once it's all blended up i've really been loving adding some why is my camera not focusing this morning like come on um i've really been loving adding some chia seeds on top of my smoothie once it's already blended up and then when you sip it you get like some chia seeds in your sip like i don't know i'm just really into that right now so i'll show you guys what that looks like once i blend it all up and while that's happening i'm gonna cook an egg and then um, toast my bread so i'll show you guys when this is all ready now for my toast i'm using this kenyan bakehouse gluten-free bread I'm doing just one piece with a little bit of butter on it and i don't have any spreadable butter so i'm just using this unsalted butter but it does the job so it's fine and i'm gonna throw my egg on top i think i need my other hand hold on just adding my egg on top I'm just super into like over medium eggs right now. Um, so I just cooked in a little bit of olive oil. So I'm gonna do some pepper. I really love pepper, so don't judge me. Um, and then I'm gonna do this everything but the bagel seasoning. And I would love some mashed avocado underneath this on the toast, but I don't have any avocado right now. So that's something else I would normally do, but I'm still gonna put this. That's good. So yeah. That is just what I've been craving every single day. I don't know why. I always bring my food outside because it looks prettier, but look at that absolutely stunning sight. And then this is what my smoothie looks like. It usually looks better, but when I carried it outside, it was kind of shaken everywhere. So now it doesn't look as perfect, but I basically just put a layer of chia seeds on top and then you get a little bit with every sip. I know that might not be for everybody, but I'm really into it right now. Like, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with it, um, but that's my breakfast. So yeah. Okay. I kind of overdid my egg a little bit. <laughs> this is still good so it's fine but yeah i'm gonna eat this and then i'll check in with you guys later okay finished getting ready and set up all my filming gear and it's about 11 30 now um before i start filming i feel like i need a little bit of a boost like i just i didn't really sleep well last night so 
I'm a little bit tired, so I am drinking this Liquid IV Energy. This is the lemon ginger flavor. This is actually, I think, my first time trying this one. I've had the Energy Liquid IVs before, but I think I had like the green tea or matcha or something. This, this just seems different to me. I actually haven't even tried it, so let me see. Oh, it's actually pretty good. Kind of reminds me of the lemon lime Liquid IV. It's like very lemony, and I can kind of taste the ginger a little bit. But I didn't realize it was gonna be like straight up green. But I'm into it. Okay, gonna chug this, get some energy, and then start filming. <laughs> I am so hungry, and I know I don't really have a ton of things like for lunches in the fridge, but I know that I have some shrimp. So I think I'm gonna make some shrimp tacos, which is not something I would normally do just like for a Thursday lunch for one. But um, it's actually really quick and easy, so that will be really fast and yummy. So I'm gonna whip those up. I have the little mini tortillas, like the Taco Man tortillas. I'm gonna make a few of those and cut up some tomato and some onion and some lime and have a really good lunch. So let's do that. I'm starving, I'm also drinking a LaCroix. Here are my little mini tacos. I just made some random sauce. I just had the idea. It's just literally plain Greek yogurt and some chipotle hot sauce. Um, not the place chipotle. It's like chipotle cholula. And it's good. I made like a little taco sauce, so that's pretty good. Um, but here's my shrimp. You can barely see under everything. I just cut up some onion, some tomato, put the sauce on, and then I have my little lime on the side. Pretty easy. It took like 10 minutes, and it looks really good. So let's see. So bright and hot out here, but Gotta get outside for a little bit, but these tacos, so good. Honestly, thank God that corn tortillas are gluten-free. Like, saved my life so many times. Some cabbage or something on here would be really good, like a Baja shrimp taco, but this will do because I don't have any cabbage, so. So good, killed it. Probably could have had like three or four of those bad boys because they were so bomb and they're very little, but wow. Fabulous. I didn't even say what I seasoned the shrimp with. I did garlic salt, garlic powder, pepper, paprika, and I did a little bit of cayenne pepper just for a little bit of spice, but that sauce was really good. It's literally just the um, chipotle cholula with plain Greek yogurt, and I just mixed it up until it was like a little bit less thick because the Greek yogurt is obviously really thick, and I just put enough hot sauce to make it like a light red kind of color, and it was perfect, so that was fire on to finish filming <laughs> now time for my afternoon coffee it's about three o'clock i normally have it around two but um a little bit later today so that's fine i just had my lunch a little bit ago and now i'm drinking this same exact thing as this morning that's cinnamon all over the cup you guys saw i put that in my coffee this morning i do it every single day it's like my favorite i love cinnamon in my coffee so okay at my brother-in-law's now gonna start making dinner here in a little bit it's about 5 15 i'm drinking that was drank. <laughs> I'm drinking a guava goddess kombucha. This flavor is fire. But I'm sitting right under the vent. It's so cold. I need to twist this a little bit so I can move. Um, but for dinner, for dinner, I'm making a gluten free chicken tender. But there are like turmeric, coconut chicken tenders. They're really good. I actually made them last week and I just wanted to make them again for everybody so they can have them, they're so good. Um, I got the recipe from Brock Your Body. I love her Instagram recipes. I don't know if she has a blog. Actually, I think she does. Someone just sneezed. But I always get her recipes on Instagram and that's where I got it from and it's so good. It's originally like a <laughs> an Air One uh, chicken tender recipe. It's like something they serve there, I've never had it, but they're bomb and they're gluten-free. And then I'm gonna make some fries. I just found these at the store. They look pretty good. Um, they're garlic fries. I just wanted to get some pre-made ones so that I can just focus on the chicken and then I'm gonna make a salad too. So that's what we're doing. And I have all my stuff here that I brought. Coconut flour, gluten-free flour. I love Bob's Red Mill. That's what all this is. And then coconut shreds. So yeah, I'm gonna get everything prepped. And a little glass of roux, three different glasses of wine. Bottles, or three glasses, yes. I'm having a little red. I actually don't know what it is. Does anybody know? A red. A lot of red. I can't really read that cursive. I don't know. Don't okay, but that's what we're having. Dinner's almost ready. I'm not turning the camera. Don't worry, Tyler. But I'm having a glass of wine. I normally drink white, but red is sure better for that. you. So here is what they're looking like. I will link the recipe below for you guys. I pan fried them. She gives a few different options in the recipe. You could do it in the air fryer. You could pan fry it. You could do it in the oven. Those fries were just okay. The ones that I shared that I found at the store. And then the salad is just romaine lettuce, feta cheese, 
cucumbers and I chopped up some almonds. And then the dressing is just some random dressing I found in the fridge. It was kind of a makeshift salad of things they already had in the fridge because I just wanted to add it to the meal. For dessert, I actually shared this in my last What I Eat in a Week video. I always eat these when I'm at their house. I love chocolate covered almonds. It's one of my favorite things. And these are the dark chocolate covered almonds from Trader Joe's. And that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you want to see more often, let me know in the comments below. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye. I just see the light when everything is dying.